New at 6, Pittsburgh International Airport will soon be one of just a few airports in the world to add what's being called a sensory room, a room that will help people who have autism relax during travel. Amy Wanis explains why this addition is so important for everyone who needs to catch a flight. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Riding a busy tram and waiting in security can be stressful for anyone trying to catch a flight at the airport. But add other factors to the mix and it could be an overwhelming experience. People with autism have differently structured brains and they're really, really sensitive to stimuli coming in. Luciana Randall with the Autism Connection of Pennsylvania says her organization has teamed up with Pittsburgh International Airport to help make this travel experience easier on people with sensory processing issues like autism. Jason Rudge, a heavy equipment operator at the airport, is the brains behind the project. He says he got the idea from a kindergarten readiness program. He took his three-year-old son, Presley, who has autism, to in Greensburg. They have what's called a sensory room. So day to day, we would go into that sensory room. Each day, it got easier for us to to be able to get an intermix with the uh, other children there. We want to make sure that people who have those issues can fly with their families and when they get through that process they have a place to calm down before they get onto the plane. The sensory room will be coming here to Pittsburgh International sometime in November. Airport officials say it will be built here in the airside terminal but they don't know where just yet. We will be the fourth airport in the world to have one. Uh, and yeah, this is a big deal. This is great for calming purposes, uh, along with the fiber optics. Pittsburgh International also collaborated with Children's Hospital, which has a sensory room for patients, staff, and families. A marble wall and projector is in the room to help a patient relax. They asked things of us, what, what is working, what didn't work for us, and then we also talked about how that might be, have to adapt that a little bit in their environment. It's unclear right now what the room could look like at the airport. But one thing's for sure, it will make the travel experience easier for everyone involved. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.